Today is a beautiful day for science. What we're looking at here are strands of plasma, part of the, the loops of what we're seeing, that are reaching already well into uh, front view, that are stretching all the way outward, meaning that what we're seeing here is much larger than what we see in presentation. It makes me wish that DSDO imagery was showing completely. But this right here is connected all the way outward to this over here. So if you look, you can see these strands, these magnetic field lines, are connected all the way out to what we're watching here. And uh, <laughs> what that basically means is if this erupts, there is a very heightened chance that even right now it will impact Earth directly. Additionally, the plasma we're seeing reaching out is reaching out well beyond the distance we see many CMEs reach when we're watching CMEs. So we're watching a coronal mass ejection. We see them go hundreds of thousands of miles into space before they're cool enough that it's no longer showing on the imagery. And then we have to wait for LASCO to show us the difference view of where we see the radiance of the CME itself. In this, we're seeing plasma circulating and creating its own network of flow reaching well extending past that uh, temperatures uh, <laughs> that we would normally see in this range. This is reaching in the, the area of where we see many filaments and prominences will reach out. Well, not, not filaments, prominences reach out. Uh, filaments run across the sun or along the sun. Prominences, they tend to just spiral outward hundreds of thousands of miles. And what we're seeing here is active plasma movement with the connected flow reaching hundreds of thousands of miles out. This would definitely be a situation where uh, if an event happens, we would expect a G5 possibly, and there will be power outages and things of that nature. So that, that's a good warning to have. Keep an eye on this because what this does could have a significant impact. And I don't normally make those kind of statements because normally it's not true <laughs> and you hear all these other people are like oh this is going to destroy us uh this won't destroy us but this will be a, an extremely impacting event <laughs> and uh should this uh event hap occur or happen uh we will see satellite uh all satellites impacted it will cause an immense amount of satellite drag when it does impact Earth. It will cause satellite loss. Uh, depending on the duration, it could cause permanent satellite damage or destruction because if they cannot communicate or the communication of the satellite, even its own software, be able to operate within function and auto-adjust, it will lose its uh, ability to maintain with the amount of drag that the introduction of a CME of this nature could uh, inflict. And additionally, it will cause a lot of communication issues. And this is the kind of event, if it did occur, it's not saying it does, these are the things we need to keep an eye on. Uh, if this does erupt to the point where we have a massive CME from this, this is something that they would say, okay, we would have a power outage that could impact things very significantly. We can see internet outages very significantly. That This is this kind of event. So all the forewarnings and the cry wolves that you've heard from these, these medias up to this point, this is what they keep thinking they see. Now, this doesn't mean this will cause this, but this is the kind of thing we look for when we want to know what could cause this. <laughs> so 
Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, aside myself here, beside myself here. This is a very beautiful yet very, very dangerous situation. And I think that, uh, yeah, this is this is the thing that I received a message from my mother uh, and uh, an email stating uh, we need to look at this. Oh, and, and NASA did put out a report as well. So this is something to look out for. And this is why uh, I'm up before I have 4K. And the bandwidth and everything's running smooth. Every now and then I have interruptions. So if you see a stutter or whatnot, uh, I didn't go down. <laughs> I'm still up 24-7 best I can. Uh, and uh, if I go down, I'll come back up as quickly as I can. Uh, but uh, still waiting on the 4K to be installed. <laughs> uh, they've run into some hiccups. Or the fiber, I mean, so I can run 4K. But yeah, this this uh, plasma we're watching here. This is live. This is current. This is the GO satellite from NOAA. Uh, SDO is currently down, and that could be for protective reasons and as a precaution, because if a flare does occur from this, it will be very significant. So that may be a precaution that we have some eyes at the sun if something was to occur. Uh, likewise, I am sure that NASA is doing what they can to make sure they have maneuverability to keep their satellite, uh, their astronauts and their satellite equipment, but most, more importantly, their astronauts, uh, from harm's way to the best that they can uh, in planning if anything does occur. Uh, once again, if a solar flare occurs, we see it as it's happening, as it were. So when we see it, we're being impacted. So a flare happens, takes about eight minutes to travel. Uh, approximately from the sun to the earth. When we see it, we're being hit by that flare. The flare is the light that's being emitted in immense amounts of uh, energy. Now, the coronal mass ejection, the fastest ever recorded was the Carrington event in 1859 that took approximately 17 hours to transverse from the sun to the earth. And the longest typically is about five days. So we can see anything between that range expectantly. Typically, they're between two to uh, four days. So that's something to keep an eye on. So I would say this right here for a coronal mass ejection. But I would say this right here is definitely something of concern. This reaching, the far reaching as, is, as it is reaching, is further than we see many of the CMEs that we have videos that have uploaded or that we have researched and looked at. The, this is hot plasma reaching beyond further than many of those CMEs we have watched in the past. 